Hi. So this is the question which has been shared to me by one of our member. Uh, it has been recently asked in an interview, right, to him. So the question is: Given shopping cart with products and coupon, calculate the net price after applying coupon on products. Coupons can be different type with certain condition, and three condition it has given like. N percent off. That is ten percent off for all the individual product. P percent off on next item. D percent off on nth item of type T. Or you can say that like different conditions of applying the coupons. So currently it's three. You can say that in future four, five, six more conditions can be added, right? Sequentially want to apply all the coupons on the card and given the total amount and get the total amount. So the question is, let's say that just to brief that in a cart, shopping cart, we have product, and for each product, there are a possible way that multiple sequence of coupons can be applied, right? Based upon the conditions, certain conditions, right? So each product is eligible, might be eligible for more than one coupons, right? so that is uh, you can say that one of the point and ultimately we have to find out the total amount which has to be paid okay so if you see the objects which comes into this picture is definitely shopping cart coupon right product now if you see that it is very very easy also to get Diverted toward a bigger, bigger picture of this LLD where we have user, payment, right? Kind of an inventory. So that become you are like an inventory management system. Like so, I am in my view this question is very very dedicated to this piece of information itself, right? So I'm so that's what that's one of the uh, point where I am keeping aside user payment and all invoice and everything. So I'm staying focus on this part. Now here, if you see that, all right. Uh, so one thing which I can see is that once you have a product, it is possible that we might have to apply coupon one, coupon two, coupon three. Or maybe let's say not coupon three, coupon seven. Three coupons I have to apply, right, and get its price. Similarly for product two, multiple coupons can be applied. Let's say coupon four, coupon one, or coupon eight. Different coupons applied, right? So for each product, multiple coupons can be applied at a time, right? Uh, so here, if you see that, to me it looks very very similar to decorator pattern where what decorator pattern is where you have an original product right and without touching that original product we can add certain capabilities to it so here we have applying coupon 1 to it we are again decorating it with second coupon we are again decorating it with more coupon right so whatever the product amount would be let's say it was 100 rupees after coupon 1 it would be let's say 90 rupees after this it would be 85 after this it is 81 and ultimately the final its amount similarly for each product we can decorate it and ultimately whatever the amount we will get we will sum it up and return the total amount so that's this question looks to me very very similar to decorator pattern and i i have tried to implement it using the same right so this is the implementation i will show you the coding part also so this is i have saved the screenshot so here first here if you see that in a shopping cart i have created one class shopping cart shopping cart has list of product right so now let's see a product class so here we have so i created one abstract class product so shopping has like product. So 
So now here, if you see that it, this is an abstract class product, what does product I have kept? I kept name, what is the original price and the product type, right? And product type is one enum which I have taken and I try to keep its category like electronic, furniture, like any decorative like this. So I have kept the product type. So this three variables it has name, original price type and using the constructor to set it up, right? And I make this method abstract, get price. I'll tell you why. So now this product, like I created many childs like item one, item two, there can be many items, right? Which are the child of this. And I have implemented this get price method, right? Get price and then ultimately for uh, currently it is returning the original price, whatever the original price I have set. So whenever I will create an item while creating an item. So here, if you see that I am creating an item, let's say fan thousand rupees and it's an electronic good item two is sofa original price is 2000 and it's a furniture good. So now I am creating each item. So whenever I call get price, it will return the price, which I have set. So this class is your product class and this product class has composition with shopping cart. Shopping cart has list of products. Okay. Now see that how I'm using a decorator is now there can be lot of coupons, right? So that's where I did. I create one coupon decorator, right? So I create one coupon decorator and if you see that it extends from the product itself. So here, if you see that it is extending from the product. So is the relationship, right? So it is extending from the product. So now this coupon decorator, now this itself is a product now, now this is itself is a product. So let me uh, make a straight line, just a sec. So this is, is a relationship. The coupon decorator is a product now. So now there can be multiple coupons in our system. Let's say I have used two of the coupons, like we can have more coupons also if required. First coupon decorator, which I have, or first coupon, which I have taken is percentage coupon decorator. So in the percentage coupon decorator, it's like for every product I have to provide, let's say 10% of the discount. So here, what I am doing here is, so this percentage coupon decorator. So this is your, is a, this is again, your is a relationship here, right here. Now here, if you see that this percentage coupon decorator has product, so it has a relationship with the product. So ultimately what we are doing is we are doing a decorator pattern here. So what I did is that the product which it has, right? So I am setting it up based on the constructor, the product and the percentage. And in the get price, what I'm doing is product dot get price and calculate the discount. So whatever the discount we will set, let's say 10%. So I am getting the price after 10% discount. I will tell you, I am using it similarly in the type coupon decorator, right? This is also a, one of the coupon decorator. I also have the product and the discount percentage and based upon the business logic, right? This type coupon is like for a particular type we have to give the discount. Let's say type is electronic, then only we have to give a discount. So just for the clarity purpose or uh, showing purpose, I have created one static list of eligible types on which type coupon can be applied. So like I have kept furniture goods and decorative goods, right? And using the constructor to set the product percentage and the type, right? Now this is the price which it will calculate. Okay. So now let's see that how I am doing that. So 
in the shopping cart so shopping cart has two method add to cart and get total price so in the shopping cart whenever you will add a product right what i am doing is i am first you can say that decorating it with the coupons so whatever the coupons we have in our system we can add it over here and based upon the business logic uh, internally the decorator itself it can decide whether the coupon has to be applied or not okay so that's what i'm doing so here if you see that i am added a product so let's say i'm adding it uh, adding the first product to the cart now this first product what i am doing is new type coupon decorator new percentage coupon decorator right and it's a uh, constructor parameters i am passing so now here what are actually going to happen is so i am creating a type coupon decorator first and if you see that type coupon decorator this which is extending the couple uh, coupon decorator this itself is a product this itself is a product right so that's why I, whatever the product i am getting i am decorating it but ultimately the outcome is the product itself so when i am creating a type coupon decorator what in the constructor what i am passing percentage coupon decorator so here in the product i am passing percentage coupon decorator okay now in the percentage coupon decorator what i am passing this product ultimately the product this product right so it is like this i have a product this product is been decorated by percentage decorator percentage and this ultimately get decorated by type coupon decorator okay so like this i have done and keep on adding the product to the cart okay so now till now let's see that i have added created product 1 and product 2 i have created item 1 item 2 like this right so here i am using uh, first i am creating item 1 and item 2 item 1 is of 1000 rupees item 2 is for 2000 rupees then i am add, creating a shopping cart object and i adding this both the items to the cart so when i am adding to the cart so both the products is getting decorated like this right so whether this coupon can be applied or not that logic depend upon inside the decorator but i have decorated like this right and i in the constructor i have passed like percentage coupon 10% discount type coupon has to provide 3% discount like this and i have added into the cart so here now what i am doing is once i have added into the cart i am getting calling the total price so now when i the total price is called inside a shopping cart what i am doing is i am iterating over the product now for each product i am calling the get price method okay so now in this product list ultimately this product is not stored this decorated product is stored this ultimately this is also returning the product only right everything is product here this coupon decorator is also product so now here what i am doing is it will force the get price of this type coupon decorator so it will call the get price of this type coupon decorator now here it is calling product dot get price first so what is the product here in the type coupon decorator so product here is percentage so here if i go the product i set it is the percentage inside the constructor of the this one so here first i am calling get price so first it will now call this percentage coupon it will call percentage coupon right so like what is happening is 
this is your product this is your percentage this is your type so i called the price over here but it said that hey before you calculate my price first calculate this price percentage one now percentage will say that product dot get price what is the product i have set to the percentage i have set the real product right so first i am setting item one so item one get price will call it ultimately is original price so here if you see that it will say that he call the get price of this original product so for the item one item one original was thousand rupees so it will get thousand rupees to this one so thousand rupees price is what thousand rupees and it will conclude thousand minus thousand into discount percentage how much discount percentage to the person we said 10 percent right so it will provide 10 percent discount so it would be your 900 rupees so get price percentage will compute 900 so now it is going out right so it compute 900 and it return back to this so this price is your 900 now it comes to here now it says that hey eligible types contains this type or not so eligible is this too only when the product type is this too this discount can be applied so whatever the item one is it item one product is electronic good does electronic good is applicable for this discount no then it would skip it then it would skip it and the price would be set as 900 plus right it was iterating in a loop now the second product will come product dot get price right the same similar part will happen it will goes to the type from type it will goes to the get price of the percentage and from the percentage it will first calculate the ultimate product so product is your item 2 item 2 is of 2000 rupees and it is furniture so here internal it will return 2000 rupees and now it will goes back to percentage so 2000 into 10 percent right so i think it will return 1800 rupees to the type now it goes to the type this is your 1800 1800 into eligible types contain furniture yes so it will go inside and discount percentage five percent it will give more discount to that one right so ultimately it provide certain 1700 something so 1700 something this would be ultimate total price so here if you see that i can run it up and total price after discounts is 2646 right so this is so i am not explaining decorator pattern here but uh, just wanted to uh, show that no matter how many more coupons can be added it can be easily supported through decorator pattern yeah thank you bye